embark on a captivating journey through time as we explore the robust physical and spiritual disciplines of medieval warriors and monks. This comprehensive exploration delves into their rigorous training routines, disciplined dietary habits, and the profound impact these practices had on their survival and moral fortitude. Join us as we unravel the fascinating legacy of these medieval figures and their enduring influence on contemporary life. The Physical Regimen of Medieval Warriors Training and Exercise Medieval warriors, such as knights and soldiers, underwent extensive physical training to prepare for battle. This training often included weapon training, mastery of swords, spears, and bows was crucial. Warriors spent hours practicing to improve their strength, agility, and combat skills. Horseback riding. Knights, in particular, needed to be adept at fighting on horseback. This required a unique set of skills and physical strength, especially in controlling and maneuvering the horse while in armor. Physical exercises. Activities like lifting heavy stones or practicing with early forms of dumbbells were common. These exercises developed muscle strength and endurance, armor and its impact. Wearing heavy armor during training and combat significantly influenced the warrior's physical conditioning. The armor, often weighing upwards of 60 pounds, required immense strength and stamina to wear for extended periods. The monastic way of life. Physical labor. Monks in the Middle Ages led a life of labor and discipline. Their daily routines often included agricultural work. Many monks were involved in farming, requiring physical labor that contributed to their fitness. Manual tasks. Building and maintaining monastery structures also demanded physical strength and endurance, spiritual and physical discipline. Monks viewed physical fitness as a means to maintain a healthy body for spiritual pursuit. Their daily routines included activities that promoted both physical and spiritual well-being. Diet and Nutrition Warrior's Diet The diet of medieval warriors was geared towards maintaining a high level of energy and strength. It typically included High protein intake, meat was a staple in a warrior's diet, providing the necessary protein for muscle repair and growth. Carbohydrates, foods like bread and porridge provided the energy needed for rigorous physical activities. Fruits and vegetables, though less emphasized, they were still part of the diet for overall health. Monastic diet, monks often followed a more restrained diet, adhering to religious dietary laws. Their diet included Fasting and moderation. Regular fasting and moderation in eating were common practices. Vegetarian meals. Many monastic orders preferred vegetarian diets, with a focus on simple, unprocessed foods. Herbal remedies. Monks were knowledgeable in using herbs for health benefits, which played a role in their diet. Influence on modern fitness regimes. The training and dietary habits of medieval warriors and monks have influenced modern fitness practices in several ways. Functional training. The emphasis on exercises that mimic real-world activities can be traced back to medieval training methods. Nutritional awareness. The importance of a balanced diet for physical fitness, as practiced by both warriors and monks, is a cornerstone of modern nutrition science. Advanced training techniques of medieval warriors. Combat and strategy. Medieval warriors didn't just rely on brute strength. They also developed sophisticated combat strategies. This involved Group formations. Understanding and practicing group battle formations was crucial. These formations required not just physical prowess, but also mental agility and teamwork. Endurance training. Long marches and endurance exercises were common to build stamina, crucial for lengthy battles or sieges. Weapon mastery. Beyond basic weapon training, warriors often specialized in certain weapons, which required years of dedicated practice. This specialization included understanding the nuances of each weapon and developing strategies for their effective use in various combat scenarios. Monastic life, beyond physical labor, intellectual pursuit. Monks in the Middle Ages were not just involved in physical labor. They also engaged in intellectual activities, which included scripture study. Many monks spent hours reading and copying religious texts, which, while sedentary, required mental discipline and focus. Scientific studies. Some monasteries were centers of learning, where monks studied subjects like astronomy, mathematics, and herbal medicine. Artistic endeavors. Monks also contributed to the arts, engaging in activities like illuminated manuscripts. Creating these required a steady hand and attention to detail. 
contributing to fine motor skills and patience. Music and chanting, participating in choral singing and music was common in monasteries, offering emotional and mental health benefits. Dietary practices in detail. Warriors' nutritional needs. The diet of a medieval warrior was tailored to their rigorous lifestyle. This included meat and fish. These were essential for protein, but the type and quantity varied depending on the warrior's status and region. Ale and wine. While not food per se, these beverages were a common part of the diet, providing calories and, in some cases, safer than water. Monks' dietary restrictions. Monks often followed strict dietary rules, which varied among different orders. These restrictions included no meat. Many orders prohibited the consumption of meat, considering it a luxury and a source of temptation. Seasonal eating. Monks often ate what they grew, leading to a diet that varied with the seasons and was rich in local produce. Training and spirituality. A holistic approach. Warriors' mental conditioning. For warriors, mental and emotional resilience was as important as physical strength. This included meditation and focus. Practices similar to meditation were used to develop focus and mental clarity, essential in the chaos of battle. Moral and ethical training. Understanding the code of chivalry or similar ethical codes was part of a warrior's training, shaping their mental and emotional approach to combat and life. Monks' physical discipline as spiritual practice. For monks, Physical labor and discipline were not just about maintaining health, but also a form of spiritual exercise. This belief was rooted in the idea that a healthy body was essential for a healthy spirit, and that physical labor was a form of penance and humility. Legacy and modern interpretations. Reenactment and historical martial art. In modern times, there's a growing interest in historical martial arts and reenactment. These activities strive to recreate the physical training and combat techniques of medieval warriors, offering insights into their physical conditioning and combat skills. Monastic practices in contemporary wellness. The holistic approach of monks, balancing physical labor with intellectual and spiritual pursuits, finds echoes in contemporary wellness philosophy. Practices like mindfulness, meditation, and balanced living draw inspiration from the monastic lifestyle. As we conclude our enthralling journey into the world of medieval warriors and monks, we hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for the intricate blend of physical prowess and spiritual discipline that defined their era. If you found this exploration enlightening, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more fascinating dives into history's rich tapestry. Don't forget to share this video with fellow history enthusiasts and fitness buffs alike, and join us again as we continue to uncover the timeless lessons and enduring legacies from the past that still resonate in our modern world. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring with us.